This video covers some new features in GWX Control Panel for preventing the Windows Update Control Panel from upgrading your Windows 7 or Windows 8 system to Windows 10 against your will. I did another video that covers the program's other features, and I'll provide a link to it at the end of this video. So you can download the GWX Control Panel from ultimateoutsider.com, and there's a link for that in the video description. So recently I've been hearing reports of some people discovering that their Windows Update Control Panel has switched into Upgrade to Windows 10 mode, where by default it will attempt to upgrade you to Windows 10 instead of just installing the regular updates for your current operating system. If you click the Show All Available Updates link, you'll find that an optional Upgrade to Windows 10 update is already pre-selected for installation. Some Windows 7 and Windows 8 users are even reporting finding multiple failed attempts to install Windows 10 in the Windows Update Control Panel's update history. So here's what you can do to prevent this from happening to you, or to fix the problem if you've already experienced it. Here you can see that my Windows 7 computer currently has the Get Windows 10 icon disabled. However, Windows is currently configured to allow Windows Update to upgrade me to Windows 10. Now, I don't want to upgrade to Windows 10 yet. I just want Windows Update to work the way it used to. So I'm going to go back to GWX Control Panel and fix it. And I can do that by clicking Disable Operating System Upgrades in Windows Update. Now, some of these changes require a system restart to fully take effect. I'm not going to restart now for the purposes of this video, but normally you want to click Yes if the program asks. Now, if we reopen Windows Update, we should find that it's returned to its normal behavior, and there it is. Now, there's one other new feature of GWX Control Panel, and this is the ability to detect and browse to the hidden Windows 10 download folder that Microsoft creates on your system. We still don't know all of the conditions that lead to the folder being created. For example, some of my Windows 7 and Windows 8 computers have it, while some don't, even though they're all online and completely up to date. There are also some rumors that Microsoft is downloading the Windows 10 installer, which is around 6 gigabytes in size, even to computers that haven't reserved an upgrade yet. GWX Control Panel gives you a super quick way to see if the folder exists on your system and how big it is. You can see on my computer the folder is only about 140 megabytes. Um, I've also got a Windows 8 computer where the folder is 146 megabytes. And I've got another computer where it's over 6 gigabytes in size. I think that's actually a complete install folder. I've even got a couple other computers that don't have the folder at all. So these new fields in GWX Control Panel just help you keep an eye on what's going on with your system. The Open Folder button launches an Explorer window where you can inspect the contents of the folder if you have it. So that's everything that's new in version 1.3 of GWX Control Panel. Be sure to check out the Ultimate Outsider blog for the latest news and updates, or you can look at my original video about version 1.1 of GWX Control Panel to learn about its other features. Thanks.